I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 153 of Bird Squad. All right, we got some coordinator talk to talk about today. A couple of little draft things, maybe. A little different free agent things that have been going around. Not too much, but we'll talk mostly about the coordinators today as both offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator were officially announced today for the Birds. The one we kind of knew coming and the other one, Sean Gessay. we'll see what happens. Obviously, Brian Johnson will start offensively. Brian Johnson is the new OC. Everyone saw that coming. Not a big surprise, really, to anyone if you've been following. Uh, just promoting quarterbacks coach, the OC, Jalen's guy, is now the guy under Saucy. And I expect, like we kind of talked about last week, I expect things to pick up right where they left off last year. He's going to know what Jalen wants to do. They got that connection. He, uh, Saucy was saying today, he helped with red zone, third down, even some of the beginning uh, sequences to game. So he definitely has the ability, and it sounds like it was the obvious and right choice. Yeah, I mean, I look, I look. you know, you, you kind of see some things that are out there about him and his past. Um, kind of feel like that connection with Jalen. Him and Jalen might cook this year, you know. Um really excited about that whole switch you know I, I think he might you, you know you kind of look at his history and wherever he's been that quarterback has gotten better I mean he was with Dak he was with Kyle Trask he was you know different people and and the quarterbacks kind of elevated their game so now calling the plays and being that OC instead of just the quarterback coach I think might take Jalen to the next level yeah, I mean, I really think, uh, I mean, you would assume a couple of wrinkles. Every guy's going to have a different, a couple of little different things that they like to do, even though you have mostly the same personnel. But I would assume, assume it to be very similar to last year. Uh, I, I, I mean, I obviously don't know, but early indication is I have a lot of faith in the guy to come in and really keep things cooking offensively because we know how good they were down the stretch last year offensively. We know how good they were all year offensively. So if they can keep that role and not uh, see Steichen have a huge drop off like uh, post Frank Wright, that would be great. So we'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, a lot of talk was, you know, about what what people kind of feel like Dougie did wrong when when they made that transition is he kind of promoted from within a little too much. Mm. Um so they go outside of the organization to get this defensive coordinator. Yeah, I mean, for, uh, first of all, I don't know much about the guy. I mean, I've looked I mean, into it a little bit since they've signed him. but It, it feels like they're enamored with this Vic Fangio kind of scheme. Mm. Um, so this guy was, you know, with him at the Bears. Yes. So, you know, it, it kind of feels like a, a seamless transition from Gannon to this guy with the with the people they have in place. Yes, yeah, depending on wise, depending yeah. on who they're going to keep, you know, and retain mm -hmm. and get back. Um, hopefully, this guy, you know, uh, like I said before, you're you're going to be compared to Jim Johnson and Buddy Ryan. Yeah. So you you got to bring it a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, we're we're a different breed here in Philly, so we want our DC to be at least a little bit aggressive. Yeah, what I know? saw from when he was with the Bears, I think in twenty twenty one or something, because he's been like an assistant coach with the Seahawks the yeah. last couple of years. Uh, they were pretty solid that year um, when he was out in Chicago. They were like second in sacks, fourth in points. Stuff like that. So we'll see how this game translates. Obviously, the main thing is that it seems like it'll be uh, what it was, I think, which was a 4-3. Yeah, it was kind of interesting that the guy in-house didn't get the nod. Um, so that that's telling me they, they, they wanted this whole Vic Fangio, yeah. you know, kind of... Uh, person to come in and run this this defense yeah it's in, that i don't know the Vic fangio thing's interesting to me because you had the dude in-house for prep for the super bowl and then it kind of seemed like the inside thing was that you were kind of forcing gannon out even though that the whole gannon thing was weird but then he signed like a day after the super bowl it seems like if you kind of had these kind of things thoughts like why they didn't just try and bring him back not that it makes a big like not it was yeah, kind of I mean, weird it, in that i point. think it was all timing yeah thing because he already like committed to the to the dolphins yeah uh i think in hindsight if they would have known gannon was definitely getting the nod yeah because you forget for a couple weeks there gannon was like now nah, i'm done i'm yeah. not, i'm not going anywhere i'm coming back 
and, and then that Cardinals thing kind of opened up. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it was a little too late to get Fangio to change his mind after he already committed to the Dolphins. Yeah, so, I mean, not that I'm know, really concerned lot, about lot of it. A praise by uh, Seahawks coach, head yeah, coach for this guy. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like you already mentioned it a little bit. We kind of talked about it in the past. I mean, it's one of those... DC and Philly is kind of one of those gigs that, like, you come in and you're already, like, the wrong guy. Like, you're really going to have to prove it. You may be, you could be anybody. You could be this big uh, DC coming in or whatever, but you still got to, like, prove it. Even, like, people are still going to have doubts no matter what. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I, I totally see it as, you know, we just want you to live and die by the sword, right? And, and even if you do that, we're going to be against you. Well, that's but, what I mean. <laughs> I mean, we just, we we want some level of blitzing. We want some level of man. We don't want to play zone all the time. And we don't want to play sticks. Yeah. So, you know, mix up your schemes, but bring it. Yeah, you know? I mean, I can agree with that. I, I don't, I, at times I can agree that Gannon was a little soft, but that was, that was the scheme. So we'll have to see kind of how he brings it in, works with these guys. And like we talked about last week, that defensively is going to be kind of that, iffy point uh coming into yeah, next I mean, year it feels good to have these guys locked up now with yeah the you knew it was coming. starting yep. and and it's time to like evaluate players and sort of you know free agency starts next week yep so it's kind of like get these guys in place start doing the homework figure out what we need and let's go get it yeah that's kind of you know, stuff let's I, run this thing back that's kind of stuff i wanted to talk about too like We've kind of talked about it. It's still a little early for the draft. We'll kind of see where they, who they talk to at the combine, how guys look. But I still expect uh, ten and thirty to be defensive most of the time. Uh, most, uh, what I would think if they decide to take both picks. I mean, uh, we'll also have to kind of monitor what happens in front of them because you think one and two, the Bears are probably going to trade out. One and two is probably going to be Stroud and Young, so that eliminates that's eight picks in front of us there because we're obviously not going quarterback. Uh, but I think, I think it's defense. I know I touched on it a little bit last week. I think you go corner or you go safety or you go D lineman. Um, I saw a lot of early mock drafts, uh, some, uh, a couple thrown in there with O lineman. Eh, I mean, you know, those picks have to come and they're not the fun flashy picks, but I don't think it's necessarily a need at this point for this team. We'll see, obviously, um, how say Amali works out, uh, if mostly he's gone, but even if Kelsey leaves, you have two quality centers with Jurgens and even Dickerson, who you drafted as a center. Yeah, I mean, I heard today that that Howie is on Kelsey's New Heights podcast this week. Oh wow, I did not so know. So I'm expecting Kelsey to come out with something, like an announcement soon, or something. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, I he said think, today. I don't think he's gonna wait. Well, Howie said uh, someone asked him about it today, and Howie said, "Well, when, they asked when's the deadline to know when Kelsey's gonna play," and he said, "When's our first game?" So it doesn't seem yeah. like they're in much of a rush to worry about yeah. it. So, um, I mean, and Howie did say today. I mean, it's just not gonna work out to bring everybody back. Yeah, so, and they've kind of you know. been hinting at some of that stuff, like the Miles Sanders stuff. The stuff that I kind of thought was going to be happening with Miles Sanders, early reports are saying it's going to be like that. Uh, the contract's not just going to work out. Uh, he's going to test the market most likely. And early indicators, I mean, this is probably a little fog. You would think they'd try and either bring someone in free agent-wise or not. But they said Kenny G uh, running back one at the moment but the thing is he's the only guy on the line and the on the yeah. roster right now boston scott's a free agent miles sanders is a free agent yeah that's kind of what how he said today yeah. he said we really don't have any running backs uh signed yeah so, so i mean i would assume yeah. they probably bring boston back kenny's obviously on the roster but i do see them trying to do something there i liked what i saw from kenny gainwell this year taking that step in the playoffs and had a good year when he uh when he got touches he was productive i just don't know if he's an every no i agree back. i agree i don't I, think I, he is I'm an every down sold back. on him being an every it's down just back. interesting and the running back but, discussion we yeah. can talk about it all the time and uh you can make the argument that miles sanders should be in that high uh pay for a running back but the eagles Take this as you may, the Eagles are smart enough not to pay a running back a big contract. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's why a lot of people are calling them to take one in the first round too with one of the two picks, and they're just not going to do that. They're not going to do that. I could see, I could see maybe the second pick at thirty, but that's more of a second round on, maybe even third round on yeah. for them. We talked about it before. I mean, Zeke really killed that running back. 
Yeah, I mean, he just deal and, and he just killed that roster too. You get yeah. bogged down with paying a guy that can't stay healthy, you lose those prime yeah, and, years. And those guys get too many touches, and and their their shelf life is so small. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna do something with running back. Who knows what? But they'll they'll bring somebody in. Yeah. So I mean, that's about it for today. I mean, we got our coordinators. That's great. We can start moving in the right direction with that before uh, the draft. Look at guys that we want. Look at free agents. Uh, we spoke about that last week, kind of where that opens up, and we can look more deeper in the draft. Uh, kind of yeah. next week after the combine right. kind of gets going. Still not over that Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, it still sucks. But the only good thing about it is, man, we're in the combine already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only so. that's the only good thing about them going so deep <laughs> is the draft. The draft is like yeah. less than a month away. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about, but uh, yeah, I mean, so about it for this week not that a whole lot does suck on. without football though does suck and XFL I, I can't get into the XFL but, <laughs> but uh, Phil's are almost back things true. are going on uh, Union uh, so yeah as always thank you guys for watching we'll be back as always next Wednesday make sure to like comment subscribe oh follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk make sure to like comment subscribe fly eagles fly go birds